We're here in Saratoga, where so, they've got wonderful water. So, uh, all right, what do we want to talk about? We can um, talk about anything. Yes, we can. So, all right. So, hey, everybody. I'm here at the early hours of Sunday morning with Michaela Krantz, who has flown all the way in from Texas just to see us and to see all her fans. And we are so excited that she showed up. Uh, so. Me too. It's beautiful here. I love it. I don't want to go back to Texas. Ew. It's too hot. Throw away your plane ticket if you want. Yeah. Ripping it up. <laughs> Just hanging out here. Staying here. <laughs> so, you have Funimation or something in New York City, right? Unfortunately, something. I don't even... I don't even know where they had another one. I'll make new friends. One. Yeah. It's fine. She'll join the Pokemon crew down there, so... Yeah. Anyways. I'll live in the Museum of Dance. Yeah. Okay, so, it's been a great weekend. How'd you enjoy the weekend so far with all your fans and interactions? It's been, it's been cool to, like, meet people in person because, you know... Uh, Sitting in a booth by yourself all day uh, doing these characters and not really getting like live performances, which is what I'm used to, you get that immediate interaction with the audience and the immediate reaction of the audience to what you're doing on stage and giving them to. And, and with voiceovers and film, you know, you don't see the audience at all and you're just like, well, I hope you like it. Here you go. Um, so getting to like meet people up close and personal, like talk to them and Watching, like, seeing how different, like, vastly different people gravitate towards the same show and, like, love the same characters, but they're, like, they've all got really unique age ranges and personalities and, and styles, and that's always a lot of fun to see that they have, you know, similar interests crossing over animation, you know, characters. So that's been cool. So there's been a lot of first time things for you here, not only it being your first con, your first after party con. <laughs> it was a great after party. I was so good at darts. <laughs> I almost won twice. And so is, is, was this also your first panel that um, you ever done? Or have you done like things for other... I mean, I've done, I've done like uh, acting conversations slash interviews slash classes. I've taught acting classes before. Um, but I think this is the first one that's been specifically about voiceover stuff. Uh, so that was unique. That was very unique. And and uh, I never met DC before who does the video game voices and stuff like that. And um, being able to hear his side of it and how he got into it and how, you know, we have very similar philosophies on voiceover acting. It's it's cool. It, it makes me feel better because I, I get to hear uh, another person in the same line of work that I am in from a different part of the country having the same philosophies. Meeting the fans one-on-one, -on -one, how was that an experience for you? Like, just, I know you'd already talked about that a little bit, but, like, how, how was their reaction towards you? Um, some of them were like, some of them would like walk past the table a couple times on their way around and they'd, they'd look at the characters and they'd move on by and then I'd see them come by again and they'd look at the characters and then they'd be like, wait, I, you know, and they'd be like, I know that one. And they'd come up closer to the, to the table and they were like, so did you draw these? And I was like, no, I did the voiceover for them. And they're like, that's you? There was one, there was one guy who, who came by and he goes, you're real? And Ryu is, is a little boy that I play in um, Snow White with the Red Hair. And he goes, I thought that was a guy. And I was like, yes, I tricked you. Success. So that was really cool. That was a lot of fun. And you, you, uh, they, I'm able to talk to them more one-on-one -on -one than I am, like, after a live performance. It's like you walk into the crowd and they say, oh, you did such a good job. And you shake hands and say thank you. But then you kind of leave. And... With this, I was able to get, you know, hear people's backstories and like what they're doing and in their, in high school or whatever, what musicals they're doing or stuff like that. I don't know. It was it was more personal, more personal stories. I got to hear a lot of personal stories. So, uh, would you start to do more comic cons and everything? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And uh, 
Oh, there's a there are some great tattoo artists here as well, <laughs> and they, those were the guys that I was playing darts with last night, and they're awesome. Like there there's there's a jewel jewelers jewelry making metalsmith um, over here. It just does stunning work. I mean, like if I walked around seriously, if I walked around this place, I would spend all the money that I got signing autographs. <laughs> it goes, it's, it's, some of the stuff that people are doing are beautiful and they're cool they're they're my kind of people like I I didn't realize that there were so many people like nerding out on these things like me you know I did I just it it cuz I cuz I don't often go to like cons just as a person going to cons I don't normally do that and so when I nerd out, it's like with a few of my friends or like by myself, uh, and this is just nerding out on a broad scale, so it makes me feel alive and kind of normal, which is awesome. Awesome. Great. So well, we really appreciate you being at the con, and uh, you know, in the future, you know, hopefully we can maybe have you back at some point. And um, I think it's been really great. And well, I don't know what else. Saratoga has beautiful architecture. If anybody needs a place to like get away from the trials of city life or Texas, Texas heat, <laughs> um, <laughs> come to Saratoga Springs, New York. It's beautiful here. All right, so Mo, well, we thank you again for being at ChaseCon, and we will see everybody later. Okay. Bye.